always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. A few isolated showers and storms working to fire up across Lake Michigan this morning. Most of them losing momentum, though, as they approach land. You can see kind of this cell headed towards Holland. Uh, had a little bit more momentum earlier on today. We are left behind with uh, what could be some more significant rain developing in Wisconsin as it continues to track our direction. But it's not going to be a washout today and really no lightning being reported with these. Severe weather threat has diminished for us greatly. In fact, it almost is drawn around West Michigan altogether. What you see in this green color is a marginal risk, level 1 out of 5. It is for the eastern portion of the state, as well as for counties south of I-94, but I don't think we'll see any severe storms today. Temperatures, though, should be pretty pleasant this afternoon, but let me remind you, it'll likely feel a little bit warmer because of our dew point in those upper 60s. Highs topping off in those low to mid 80s, and that future cast does give us a chance for some of those pop-up showers and thunderstorms to continue this afternoon because of all the moisture that we'll have in our air. We'll call it partly cloudy today today this afternoon, but I think we'll have some good breaks of sunshine and then into the later afternoon and evening hours is when we could see some of those showers fire up again. The better chance for rain though develops overnight and this time around it'll likely become a bit more widespread. We'll see those showers get a bit heavier as we head into Saturday morning. Still not expected to be thunderstorms at this point, but definitely going to be a dreary start to our day. I think we'll be mostly dry by those late afternoon, early evening hours. But that being said, more than likely going to see partly cloudy skies, maybe some breaks of sun in the mix as well. 81 is your high for Saturday. It will be a bit breezy as well, so keep an eye on conditions if you're headed towards the lakeshore once those showers do clean up or clear up. And then into Sunday, a little bit cooler near 80. A mostly dry day overall, but there is a chance for some scattered showers after about 2 o'clock and then some heavier showers developing into those later evening and overnight hours. Into the weekend, it will be a bit humid. The good news is relief is in sight. By early next week, those dew points take a dive, and so do those temperatures temperatures right along with it will be in those mid 70s for both Monday and Tuesday, but it does come with more chances for some scattered showers or some isolated showers. Again, I know this looks a little bit daunting, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be a washout. Rain totals looking pretty minimal after we kind of get through this Saturday morning system. We'll start to warm up back to those 80s by the middle of the week with more sunshine. Tom, are we seeing any issues on the roads this morning? Right now, things are looking pretty good out there across area roadways. Uh, we do still have that road construction that is going on along the southbound lanes of US 131 uh, between Ann Street and the Ford Freeway, and that will remain in place uh, through today. So this is supposed to wrap up today, so next week we should not have to be dealing with this. It does cause a backup usually to the I-96 corridor and sometimes to West River Drive. Fridays, we're usually dealing with a lighter commute out there, so it might not be as a significant problem today as it has been uh, the rest of the week. Other than that, taking a look at the freeways heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area, we're doing just fine. No major crashes out there. Here's a live look, southbound US 131 and northbound here. You can see we're working with light traffic. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Teresa Donovan. All right.